Archer Amorosi was only 16. His funeral will be at 11 o'clock this morning at Westwood Community Church in Excelsior. Now, as for the investigation into his death, we now know the names of the officers involved, and we're expecting to get more information on their backgrounds today. And he's my son. Today, his son will be laid to rest. Archer Amorosi's dad says his boy struggled with mental health issues, and when family members tried to find help, they turned to police. My ex-wife called them because they said if they came back, they would take him in for an evaluation. They said they wouldn't ask questions. Instead, they killed him. New info from the BCA says Corporal Jacob Hodge fired his gun that Friday in Chanhassen. So did Deputy Travis Larson, who also used pepper spray and a taser. A third officer, Corporal Josh Baker, used a taser too. They were responding to a 911 call from Archer's mom, who said her son was suicidal and threatening her. Carrie Levin got a hold of this police radio audio from Broadcastify. Uh, he is armed with a baseball bat and has threatened to suicide by cops. After officers got there, Amorosi eventually ran outside, apparently holding a hatchet and gun. Deputies tried to tase him, but it was ineffective. It didn't work. They fired their guns. Shots fired, shots fired, ambulance call to me. Shots fired is down. Amorosi was a junior at Minnetonka High School. Tonight, the lacrosse team will play a game in honor of him. That's at 6.30 tonight at the school. Now, in lieu of flowers, memorials to the National Alliance on Mental Illness are preferred.